About one year ago, I published a book I titled How to Be Rich by Using Other People's Brains, Hands, and Energy. In this book, I explain the simple truth about wealth creation, and that is, people who create massive wealth are people who learn how to cooperate with and gain from other people's efforts. I've mentioned this many times on this channel that nobody becomes rich because they work 18 hours per day. Rich people are those who work thousands of hours every day through other human beings. About one year ago, we made a video with the title John D. Rockefeller's Advice for Young People Who Want to Be Rich. Thousands of people liked that video and today we decided to publish another video as a follow-up to that one. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Here's the thing, John D. Rockefeller said and I quote, I would rather earn 1% of 100 people's efforts than 100% of my own efforts. This, I think, is the single most important secret of wealth creation. I have a simple question for you. Do you know any millionaire who works for his money all by himself? Do you know any rich person who works for his money only by using his own hands and his brain? If you don't know any rich person who becomes rich by working alone, then you have to stop trying to be rich by using your singular brain. The Rich in History While I was writing one of my books, I had the reason to research about people who have been wealthy in the history of the world. In the Bible, we read about the rich guys Abraham, Jacob, Esau, Job, etc. I wanted to know what is the single attribute of all these people. It's very easy to figure out. The Bible says in Genesis 14:14 14, 14, that Abraham had at least 318 servants. In Genesis 32:6, we have a record about Esau's 400 servants. In the book of Job, we have the records that show that Job had hundreds of servants who took care of his cattle and farms. Now, it's obvious why these people were rich. They knew how to get hundreds of people to work for them. They knew how to earn 1% of 100 people instead of earning 100% of themselves. Now, let's move to the modern world. Think about the richest men today. They are men who have more hands and technology working for them. Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, has more than 250,000 employees. Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, has 39,651 full-time employees as of 2019. Bill Gates of Microsoft has more than 128,000 employees. We can go on and on to make a list of the richest men in the world and one thing will remain constant. Your wealth is directly related to the number of people and technologies that work for you each day. It's not rocket science. As I wake up this morning, I have 10 people who wake up to work for me and you only work for yourself. With your two hands, then I'm going to be richer than you. I'll soon show you how you can be rich by getting other people and technologies to work for you. But before then, let me address one common misunderstanding about life. I would rather earn 1% of 100 people's effort than 100% of my effort. But it's not fair. When I analyze that the single most important thing every rich person does is to figure out how to make other people work for them, the response from some people would be, but that isn't fair. Well, maybe, but that's how the world was programmed and I don't think it makes sense to try and fight against that. More so, because we are not wired the same way, some people were wired to be employees. Some people were wired to be their best by being part of a great team. As long as these people are happy being where they are, they are successful individuals. However, if you think that you are wired to be rich, then the message of this video is for you. I would rather earn 1% of 100 people's effort than 100% of my effort. Using technology as leverage In the days of our forefathers, the only leverage you have is to get slaves, plenty of them. Just a few decades ago, the only leverage you have when building wealth is to get another human being to be part of your team as employees. Today, 
We are in a better position than any generation in the history of the human race. Today, you can manage a company with only five people. Today, you can use tens of technologies to build wealth for yourself. The only problem we have is that most people are consumers of technologies. Most people are happy to use the latest phones, the fastest cars and the internet. Most people are happy to spend five hours on their mobile phones every day, but they want to use such technology to build wealth. My first successful business is an agri-technology company. What we do is extremely simple. We use a few technologies to connect hundreds of farmers in my country. Then we match them with the people who have interest in the agricultural business. Yes, this business did not make me a millionaire, but it makes us more money than most people would have imagined. That's the power of technology. So what is my advice for you? It's what I've been telling you for a long time. Stop seeing technologies as fun things to be enjoyed. Why technologies are good and technologies help us live better, they are also the best gift for anyone who wants to build wealth. I would rather earn 1% of 100 people's efforts than 100% of my effort. Taking Responsibility Now, there's a question I promise to answer. How do I start getting other people and technologies to work for me? Start by being responsible for your generation. It's that simple. But I need to explain a few things. You see, you can't be rich simply because you want to be rich. You can't have money by pursuing money as a priority. To make good money, you have to take responsibility for one or a few things that are wrong or that can be better. Two crazy individuals changed our present world more than almost anyone. Both of them were born in 1955 and they both grew up to take responsibility for the computer hardware and software evolution. Those two guys are Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. These men spent all their 20s being crazy about changing the world. They knew that computer technologies could change the world and they were hungry about being the ones to do it. Do you think that these men were driven by money? Do you think that these men simply worked hard because they wanted to be rich? Well, these men worked hard simply because of money. They should have stopped working in their 20s because they both already had too much money by the age 30. The truth of the matter is people who become rich are people who take responsibility. People who become rich are people who figure out what is wrong or what can be done to make the human race better and then sacrifice their whole time and brains to do what they believe will make the world a better place. When you have this mindset, then it's natural that you'll have too many things to do than you can ever do alone and that means you need the service and brains of other people and technologies and that's how you get other people and technologies to work for you. Let me conclude this video with my personal story. When I was 13 years old, I asked myself, why is everyone teaching me how to be an employee? I mean, I wondered why my teachers, parents and even my church only talked about a single thing, getting good jobs. Why is everyone teaching me how to work for other people? Why is no one teaching me how to build a business? When I was 17, I started a club in my campus intending to inspire young people to do something different aside from the usual path of certificates and jobs. I was not paid a dollar to run or start that club. I just wanted to change the world and that was the reason. After I left school, I started my entrepreneurial journey and after about 9 years of being an entrepreneur, I started making this kind of video you're watching now. Do I get paid for making this video? Yes. But is getting paid my primary driving force? Well, I did exactly what I'm doing here when I started a club without any intention of getting paid for it. So you get what I'm saying here. What responsibility are you willing to take? How do you want to contribute to the world around you? What do you think is wrong and how can you make it right? Where do you think the world ought to be and are you willing to take the responsibility to move us there? 
If you're willing to take responsibility, you'll have too many problems. And because you have too many problems, you need other people and technologies to join you. And that's how to get rich. Why looking for a problem to solve? Don't think it must be a billion dollar problem. Anything that can make life easier for 100 people can lead you to what can make life better for a million and a billion people. So, don't be afraid of starting small. I would rather earn 1% of 100 people's efforts than 100% of my effort. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Do you love to start your day with high energy? Then we invite you to join our new channel which was designed to give you daily inspirational videos that will help you to become a high achiever. We call it Inspiration Tube. Look at the description box to join the Inspiration Tube. We love you.